Hey guys, Jerry here with Next Gen Graphics Mobile Detailing. And I just wanted to show you our mobile setup, how we've got our tank, how we do our uh, water tank and fill it up in the mornings and keep it from freezing. So here is our setup. You can see we've got 65 gallon tank and I have on here, I have the increments. We measured it out and did all the volumes for the size. And it tells you, lets me know 65 gallon, this is 48 gallon, this is 32 gallon, and so on. And it just keeps me uh, informed of how much water is still in it. Um, down here, you can see I have a heater, a little ceramic heater, and it blows under the water tank, and I have chemicals and that sort of thing underneath, and that keeps all of that from freezing and it blows through the back and kind of circulates around. So if you see what we got here, we've got vents, vent holes here with my chemicals, heaters up there, the air blows out through here, circulates around and comes up and keeps all of this stuff from freezing and they're all pretty warm now. I've had it on today. Um, it's 30 degrees outside and it just circulates around and keeps all of this from freezing and I um, just want to show you how we do all that so here is my pressure washer setup this is our outlet line you can see I've got a valve there with a hose and we really don't like these hoses because they crimp so bad I've got to upgrade the hose um, but we pull this pressure washer out, set it on the ground, hook the hose to it, and that's my gravity-fed system from the tank. And you can also see back here, I have the increments marked back here so we can also see how full it is from the back. Um, it takes us about to here. That's halfway um, per car. So if we fill it up, you can see I had it at 48 gallon yesterday. Um, it's here now that's one car uh, we detailed one vehicle and that's how much it took so I got enough to do another vehicle in here but um, I'll show you how we set this up I have my hoses here this is my fill hose and we're here at the house I've got the shop here with the water spigot and what I do is put this up here Grab this line, straighten it out. And of course it's gonna tie a knot. Let me get this out. So that way I'm not out. Bring this out. Bring this around to my field side and I have a quick disconnect here. To here I turn this valve on and this is also this line here is also my breather line for the tank it's my air inlet because this tank is sealed so good which I was happy it turned out that way um, as I'm I have to close this off to fill the tank up and that means it's completely sealed air tight so as the water's pumping in the tank expands so I have to have some kind of air release. And that's where this valve right here comes in. I take this out, just unscrew my hand. I usually just hand tighten it. And take that out and set it there. And then make sure this is on and open. That's closed. So the water comes in, goes down here and into the tank and it doesn't shoot out here. And I usually fill it up about 48 gallon right at 50 gallon is where I fill it so I'll go back around here turn the water on water's on got really good pressure around here and boom water's filling up so uh, that's how I fill the tank 
and um, like now I'll show you uh, when I get done filling the tank how I keep everything warm and cozy and uh, keeps my chemicals from freezing in this winter weather because it's been in the uh, it has literally been in the teens and 20s which has killed us on the, the outdoor mobile detailing but uh, when it's like today and it actually gets up about 35 ish um, we can detail water doesn't freeze on the cars as bad and um, we can do some work that way but uh, as soon as this fills up I will show you and uh, how we hook everything up all right so water tanks full um, what I call full you can see it's just a little over the 48 gallon mark which I'm gonna say is 50 gallon and I've shut the water off at the spigot so I come in here and now I open up the air valve I'm gonna put this plug back in and it just keeps water this is my air relief but it keeps water from coming out while I'm driving and I just kind of hand tighten it I do have a paste on that a pipe paste that keeps it the threads sealed up pretty good um, so this is my air valve now so now it can breathe I'm gonna shut this valve off and I always forget to turn this off so when I hit the brakes water comes back out here shoots out and hits the cab um, and I forget to turn that off all the time um, that's my fault so unplug that I bring this down the hill so I'm gonna drain the water out of this line and I just lay it down any residual water comes back out of that unscrew this and then I roll this up so I'm gonna roll this up I'll be up all right so we are rolled up I'm gonna hang it back in here on the hook if I can here operate with me all right so it hangs hangs right there it's our pressure washer hose this is an extender for this 25 foot hose 25 foot hose and this is if we go to a client's house um, and they have water really convenient or if they have hot water hooked up we will use these hoses to hook to the pressure washer all have the quick disconnects on them um, see that this is a 75 foot hose in case we have to reach farther if this tank runs out of water I can fill it up at a client's house or fill it up at the car wash or wherever um, not too bad but what I want to do is I do want to replace these hoses because they suck these are little cheap six dollar hoses from Lowe's and they are awful they kink awful um, for a gravity fed system you really want good hoses so um, I'm probably going to replace those ends on those today um, but I'll show you uh, I'm going to close everything up turn the van around and I park down here where I have my power to plug in the van and I'll show you that when I get down here get the van turned around. All right, so I got the van pulled back down. This is normally where I park it. You can see we were just right there filling up with the water spigot. Uh, this is normally where I park the van. And I have a cord, power cord, coming out of my garage. And what I did is we installed a power plug in the side of the van. It was one of the only places I could find to really put it that worked well. So, I have a cord, and what I do is every night, every night I come home, I plug this up, and this does two things. This is hooked. I have my, uh, I don't even know, these search protectors. I have these hooked up to that power that you just saw. On the outside of the van so that has a pigtail on the other side my uh, search protector I have a search protector on this side it's hooked to that this is where our shop backs are hooked to so if we need to we can turn on the shop backs um, I also have power back here for the battery chargers for the drills cordless drills I have a charger here which is just sitting there normally it's put I store everything in that all the power battery stuff goes in this tote 
the drills and brush drill brushes it's all here but I'm charging I usually come home I put my dead batteries on the charge so I can charge them and come around to the front and I'll show you the heater so on the side door now the heater is on and running and it's blowing the heat underneath, underneath back through there see all that and it heats everything up and does a pretty good job generator is here i've got the table to dividing this because the generator doesn't really need to be kept warm and um, we do have the chemicals rags keeps them from freezing up and the other good thing about this heat being in here underneath is it kind of keeps this water it warms this water overnight so it's more warm than the outside temperature is if that makes sense so we're actually washing with a little bit warmer water than than straight out of the faucet um, which is a good deal for us um, we also on the other side if you can see that over there I will show you that from the other side that is our bucket fill we have a bucket fill station on that side um, so normally what we do is all this comes out our hoses come out our rags come out and hang we hang our bag rag bag rags bag on the side platform comes out this is our bucket fill station once again you can see the hoses these junk hoses will kink up and I hate them hate them hate them but they were cheap that's what we went with to begin with and then this runs this comes out of here runs this way to my bucket fill runs that way to the back to the pressure washer and that is my gravity feed out uh, this is inch and a half run down converted to one inch converted to three quarter gives me lots of water at the other end and it comes out very very fast um, you can see back in there is our bucket with our foam cannon in it this is our air dryer um, cooler for drinks and that's what we've got in our van so the tank does really well it's a it's a square body tank I got out of an RV um, found a guy on Facebook that was selling an, a water tank from an RV um, he said it was a 75 gallon for a hundred bucks I went I drove an hour over an hour to go get it and it ended up being a 65 gallon for a hundred bucks but it's still 65 gallon for a hundred bucks and it was square is what I what I wanted I really wanted one that would uh, stand up upright in here but I think laying down works better for us I'd like to build at some point a shelf to go across here to hold all of our stuff and keep them right now we have them strapped to keep them from sliding around we'd like to build a platform here to set these on without the strap just to keep them up um, we have them here so they can it's easily maintenance we can get to them empty and clean them that kind of thing um, but it's not too bad it's a good setup so far it works for us um, most of the time and that's how we have it set up so uh, just wanted to run that by you guys it's our setup for keeping warm that's our setup for filling our water tank every day um, and that's our setup for filling buckets and our pressure washer system set up on gravity feet. Next Gen Graphics, appreciate you guys. See you.